Hello everyone, I'm a cake lover and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make mini red velvet cakes that are going to be very fluffy, soft and delicious. So let's get started. So in a big bowl, I'm going to be adding in some sugar and you're going to find everything listed down below in the right quantity. Add in sugar and then I'm going to add in half a cup of margarine. You can use butter as well. Using a mixer, I'm going to mix in my margarine and sugar until combined. Once the sugar and margarine are well combined, I'm going to be adding in two eggs. Then I'm going to whip up the eggs to combine together with the sugar and margarine until soft and fluffy. You're going to preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes and then you're going to line your baking tin. Scrape the sides of the bowl. Mix up some more, make sure everything is getting smooth. Once everything is nice and smooth, be adding in a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Mix in. This is smelling so good. I love the chocolatey flavor that is from the co from the cocoa and the vanilla essence. And yeah, everything is smelling so good. So I'm going to add in some all-purpose flour, alternating with some buttermilk. So I'm going to add slowly. Fold. Add in some buttermilk. I'm using my spatula at this point to mix in my ingredients because I don't want to over mix. Using a mixer, it's going to over work or over mix the butter. Add in some buttermilk. and the rest of the all-purpose flour. Scrape the bottom of the bowl. My butter is ready for the tin, so I've already aligned the tins with parchment paper and sprayed with baking oil. So I'm just going to add in the butter in the tins. Once done, I'm going to be baking the cakes for around 20 to 25 minutes or until you insert a skewer and you notice that the skewer comes out clean. Yeah, so yeah, let's get baking. My cakes are ready and they are out of the oven and they're looking so good. So I'm going to be doing the frosting. So I have one and a half cup of icing sugar or powdered sugar. And I have some vanilla essence and some water. You can switch the water with some milk. Today I'm going to be using a little bit of water. So I'm going to add water in bits as I stir in with my spoon. Add in some vanilla essence as I mix. Another teaspoon of water. Also, my cakes are completely cool. Make sure when frosting cake, the cake is completely cool. 
this is how it's looking after mixing up the icing sugar together with the water and vanilla essence and it's super thick so the next step is to frost my cakes the cakes stand out amazing they are very soft fluffy and as you can see the color is just so delicious yeah you can taste the color <laughs> so i'm going to add in my icing on top of my cake add some more on my next cake spread around thing let the frosting drip yummy my mini red velvet cakes are ready and i've presented to you with some icing and they look so beautiful i can't wait to have my first bite because i'm very 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 hungry so this is the best red velvet recipe so you have to try out the recipe so i'm going to enjoy mine with my family and i hope you try out this amazing recipe 